American folk singer and activist Pete Seeger's passion for music and the environment embodied who he was. In 1966, Seeger co-founded the organization Hudson River Sloop Clearwater. Two sacks, Pete! Two sacks, Pete! Ever since, Seeger's 106-foot-long sloop Clearwater has been sailing up and down the Hudson River, educating and inspiring children to protect the environment. We went along for a three-hour voyage with middle school students from Newburgh, New York. While enjoying the majestic views of the Hudson Valley, children learned firsthand about pollution, water quality, and their favorite, eels. <laughs> it felt like slimy and mucusy, kind of. It was like very like slippery. To date, more than a half a million people have set sail on the sloop, about 1,200 students every year. Time to turn things around, trickle up, not trickle down. Clearwater also worked tirelessly to pass the Clean Water Act of 1972. Its efforts turned the Hudson from a garbage dump for factories into a river you can now swim and fish in. After Seeger's death in January, Peter Gross became the new helm of Clearwater as its executive director. We have a little slogan that we use, no, no child left inside. And the idea is that when a kid um, gets a feel and the experience of being out on the boat and learning the things about the river that we teach, um, it's a lesson that almost never goes away. And may you stay forever young. Seeger had a simple plan when he commissioned the sloop, build a boat to save the river. 45 years later, the river is not only cleaner, but the future now looks brighter for generations of environmentalists to come. We actually need the river and the animals need the river, so we're helping everybody and it's, it's very cool. It was a fantastic view. I enjoyed it and I am very thankful. Pete Seeger, what a legacy. Boy, he really started something. You know, it, it's interesting to think that there was a time that Native American Indians were actually able to drink the water from the Hudson. Think about that. That's right, Ernie. And then before clear yeah. water came along, the Hudson River became so polluted that one of the educators told me that if you got a mm. cut and it came into contact with yeah. Hudson River water, you yeah. would have to seek medical attention wow. right away. That's how dirty it became. But then thanks to clear water mm -hmm. and so many other organizations, now you can swim in it and fish in it. But there there are lot. still fishing restrictions, yeah. so there is still more work that Progress needs to be done. Progress has been made, a lot to be done, but this youth initiative is fantastic. I love to see these young people out there. Thank you, Lydia.